Hi, this is Mike Dugan, Senior Platform Engineer here at the Port Network, and today we're going to go through APIs 101, Introduction to the Port Supported APIs. Okay. So, what I really wanted to cover is what exactly APIs are, uh, the basic definition of APIs, uh, essentially what APIs are, it, it, basically it's a, it's a, a tool set that allows unrelated systems to communicate with one another. Um, if we look the wiki article we see the API is actually an acronym. It means Application Programming Interface. Now uh, to a non-techie that may not mean a lot and that's fine but basically uh, at its core it's a way to get data out of some system. Or manipulate data in some in some remote system. Okay. So let's take a look here. Now, if you notice this here, this is my Twitter user handle that I use um, for all my tweets for uh, for internal goings ons with the port network. Okay. All right. Now, if I were to make a tweet here, so let's just do, do something very simple here. I am, I am making a tweet, right? I'll tweet that. Okay, so there it is in Twitter, right? Now, if you look at our next tab here, okay, so Twitter exposes an API. They actually expose a, a, a huge library of APIs, one of which is an API that will get the last, uh, I think by default it's 10 most recent tweets for a particular user. And that's exactly what this API call does. And you see that we can just use a normal browser. I'm, I happen to use Firefox. It would work in any browser. But you can use a browser just to kind of see this in action. Okay. So if we look at this URL, api.twitter.com, Okay, the slash one, it's, uh, that's kind of a, a standard for, for APIs. The one basically means version one of, the, of their API platform. Okay, statuses, user timeline, um, and you'll see the .xml extension, which basically is saying, give this to me in the XML format. Okay, uh, we'll get more into uh, the, the different types of, uh, or, or the different formats of data the two most ubiquitous formats are XML and JSON. Okay, and we filter this by screen name equals my Twitter user handle, which is Mike Dugan Port. Okay. Now, if we refresh this, we look at this right here. Okay. We see that it's pulling my last most recent tweets with the one that I just made. Okay. So this is very well and good to be able to do this via a browser. Um, how can we use this in a community? Or how can we use this at all for that matter? Okay. My next tab here, community.theport.com. This is our training community. And if you were to navigate to my public profile slash Dugan, uh, what you'll see is that, uh, well, first of all, my hair is a lot longer, and I got a, and I'm wearing a beard these days. It would probably get me fired from most places, but this isn't about that. All right, now look at the uh, the right pane here, and look at this one module, Twitter. Okay, what we did is we leveraged this API. Okay. Uh, we the terminology that we use is we consume this web service. Web service and API are absolutely synonymous. So we consumed this web service, this URL basically, to take this raw data in the XML format, process it, and put it out here. So if we refresh this page, there we go. So that's a very basic example of an API.